All right, uh, welcome back to the videos. Um, this is going to be part four of making a crucible furnace. I shouldn't say actually making a crucible furnace. It should be part four of setting up to do uh, investment castings, what actually the ultimate goal here is. Now, I'm working on this thing for about four days, and what it is is a vacuum chamber. Now, this right here is a bell jar. Uh, I have this on springs. You see it's on spring loaded. And this is a, a gum rubber mat. And I got the, just made it fancy. I didn't need to have all this, but it looks nice. This is the vacuum here. It goes down to a pump there on the floor. Pick it up, put it on the bench here. You can see it. You saw this before in another video I had. The pump there. And uh, the one other thing I need to do is get a foot switch for it. And I know you say you say what you want about Harbor Freight, but they have the foot switch. You step on it, turns it on, step on it, turns it off. Much easier. You know, when you get older, you can't bend down as much. Okay. Now, the bell jar is a plastic thing. And this one here was about 165 bucks. It's a big one. You don't need to have one this big. You can get a little smaller one. But, you know, for the tall flask, you see this one's an 8-inch, the big one there. That's an 8-inch. And the other one's a four inch. Uh, you want a pretty good size. Now, in the bottom here, I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but right there is a copper tubing that comes with a little fitting I made, or a hose that goes between here. And then we have a three way valve. So when it's facing this way, it's sucking air from there down to here. And then when I flip it over the other way, it exhausts this out. All right now, well, what's this thing over here? Well, this here is a vibrating thing that they use when you make castings. They're hooked to the pattern match plate. They have a little thing where they step on, a, on it with their foot, and it's vibrating, and as it's vibrating, they're lifting the mold up. So I thought, well, maybe that'll work to, to get some of the air out of here, and if you turn it on... This We'll have to see how it works. A little noisy, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I'm going to turn it on for you now, and then we're going to bring up the vacuum. All right, it takes a while for that vacuum to get up. It's starting to come up already. It's already down. Now you see, you'll see this here needle. It'll be coming up. And of course, now while that's happening, you're supposed to put this on. It's going to vibrate the investment and get the air out of it. Let's see what's happening here. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but uh, let's see, I'm going to try it again. Now, somewhere there's a leaking. There she goes. Now it's pulling the vacuum. It just needs to be a little tighter. Pulling the vacuum on there now. All right, now it's up there. And you can see this thing pulling up on it. Look at that. Might have to wind up gluing this down. It's maybe leaking underneath it. Could very well be. Maybe I'll put a piece, little strip of silicone around that. Might be the problem. And now it's not. Okay, now when you release it, you go the other way. the vacuum. Now put it on this side again. Let's see if it'll come up. I gotta have to I think I'm gonna have to wind up gluing this down. Or at least put some glue around around the it's sucking around the, the pipe there I think. So alright I uh I put a little liquid soap underneath the bottom of this. Kind of give it a better seal. I heard that was good. I'm gonna turn it back on. 
Let's see if I push up on it. Whoa! It's going up now. It needs a better seal. And I think there's a something you can put on there. Bell jar grease, I heard. But she's going up now. Uh, and then of course you just put it over there, release it. I'm gonna put a little silicone around the bottom between this and the and the uh, rubber, between the wood and the rubber, and I, that'll probably make the difference. So right now I need that foot switch. That'll help make it easier. And uh, but that's basically it. And of course the vibration get the bubbles out, and you'll see that when I go to do it. So um, next we got to do the. Uh, that's it for this. Next, we got to do the uh, the burnout oven. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I got to get the PIP. I might need a little help with that. I'll get the PIP thing going, and um, uh, ramping. You know, we're from 200, melts out the wax for a couple hours, then it raises up to 1500 gradually, then it drops down to 500 over an eight-hour period or something. And then when I come in the next day, the, the molds will be ready to burn out, uh, ready to to the, to, to uh, uh, cast. Now, yesterday I was able to pick up a piece of uh, uh, six inch by 14 inches long piece of stainless steel pipe. And I'm going to make that into the chamber. I said, well, I need stainless. Well, what I'm afraid of is that the thing eventually will rust inside their little rust particles and we're vacuuming in and it could pull a vacuum on the dirt and pull that dirt into the pump, which I don't want to do. So, I, might, I imagine there's some kind of a filter I can get but make it out of stainless so it's as good as any strong and put a bottom on it and a little top flange. You've got to work that out. i got to make a little stand for it. So there's a ways to go yet, but we're getting there slowly by little by little. So that's it for now. Um, on the, the vacuum table's done, bell jar, everything, that's all completed, ready to go. So uh, we'll see you on part five. And don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you on the next video.